It's no secret that the rich like to splurge their wealth in several assets to enhance their luxurious lifestyle. Instead of booking a cruise or flying on a regular aircraft, they often buy their own jets or yachts. Welcome to Planet Luxury, today we're looking at how the richest CEOs travel. Number 5. Mark Zuckerberg The 34-year-old CEO of Facebook, a social media behemoth with a $940 billion market cap. It's not surprising that the tech CEO has a lot on his plate during the day. Despite becoming one of the wealthiest tech moguls, the Harvard dropout lives a low-key life with his wife Priscilla Chan and their two young daughters. Zuckerberg is well known for driving relatively inexpensive cars. After all, being a billionaire does not imply that you have to be making outrageous splurges just for fun. He's been seen in an Acura TSX and a Honda Fit, both which are worth around $30,000. Apart from these two, he's also been spotted driving a black Volkswagen Golf GTI, a car that he bought well into making his fortune. This car would cost around $30,000 when new. But that doesn't mean that he hasn't spent big bucks on at least one sports car. A $3 million Italian Pagani Wari. Though the man doesn't own any private jets like others on the list, Facebook spent nearly $23.4 million on Zuckerberg's air travel and security in 2020, when the world was stuck at home due to the pandemic. Number 4. Bill Gates Currently the fourth richest man in the world with a net worth of $130.6 billion. Gates held the title for the world's richest man from 1995 to 2017 except for five years in between. He spent a portion, just a minor portion of his fortune on the finest cars and private jets money can buy. He is famous for having a fleet of Porsche cars and continues to be a fan of the German automaker to this day. After starting Microsoft, one of the first lavish purchases he made was a Porsche 911 supercar, which was later sold at auction for $80,000. But if you think it was his last Porsche, it isn't the case. He also has a Porsche 959 and a Porsche Taycan in his car collection. Adding to his choicest collection of vehicles, the flamboyant genius aimed to fly high. Gates purchased some of the most opulent private aircraft to help his plush travels. He owns four private jets, including not one but two Gulfstream G650ERs, each worth close to a whopping $70 million. The other two are Bombardier Challenger 350s, which cost a pittance of $27 million each. The G650 seats 11 to 18 passengers and has a maximum range of 13,890 kilometers, with a top speed of 0.90 Mach, thanks to the ER or Extra Range Edition. The Challenger 350, on the other hand, is the largest and the quietest in its class and it can carry up to 10 passengers with a max range of 5,900 kilometers and a top speed of 0.83 Mach. If you think this is over, well it isn't, because Bill Gates also owns a Eurocopter EC-135 and a unique Cessna 208 caravan seaplane. Number 3. Bernard Arnault Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos now have a new rival for the title of the world's richest person, Bernard Arnault, the owner of LVMH. The third richest billionaire is in charge of a massive empire of luxury businesses, including Louis Vuitton and Sephora. Bernard's net worth is significantly increased in recent years as he's currently only a few billion dollars away from becoming the richest person in the world. Apart from luxury brands, Bernard Arnault has taken a helm of other pursuits such as hotels, artwork, yachts, and culture. Bernard Arnault's yacht isn't just any old boat. It's a super yacht with the title of the largest feed ship and a place in the world's top 100 super yachts. 
Symphony is a luxury yacht that can accommodate 36 passengers and is the first feed ship to exceed the 100 meter mark, measuring 101.5 meters. It is an eco friendly yacht with six decks, an aluminum frame, a glass bottom pool in the main deck, an outdoor cinema, and a helicopter pad. A work of art by Tim Haywood Design. It should come as no surprise that Arno is also a proud owner of private jets. He has reportedly splashed $40 million on a beast named Dassault Falcon 7X. In addition, he formerly owned the Bombardier Global Express 6000 and a Bombardier Global 7500, which is capable of seating up to 19 passengers. Number 2. Jeff Bezos Jeff Bezos has decided to take a break after becoming the first person in history to have a net worth of $200 billion. Amazon founder has stepped down as CEO, handing over the reins to his longtime subordinate, Andy Jassy. Given the global reach of Amazon and Bezos' other businesses, it only makes sense that he should have a private jet. His Gulfstream G650ER costs $65 million and he owns not one, but two of them. However, while private planes are notorious for having frequent stops, this beauty travels further and faster than comparable models. It is the pinnacle of air travel luxury, having spacious interiors outfitted with the finest conveniences and handcrafted seats that can turn into comfy beds anytime you like. When the former CEO of Amazon decides to come down to earth with mortals, he's most likely chauffeured around the limousines. Long after he became a billionaire though, he was famously seen behind the wheel of fairly modest vehicles. The Amazon founder treasured his 1987 Chevrolet Blazer which he drove for years and used for cross-country road trips. When Amazon went public in 1997, he improved his mode of transportation to a still modest 1996 Honda Accord. But now he does own a fleet of luxury cars that cost somewhere around $20 million. A Ferrari Pininfarina Sergio, Bugatti Veyron Mansory, VW Motors Lycan Hypersport, Koenig's XCC XR Trevita and Lamborghini Veneno are part of his collection. Number 1. Elon Musk Musk claimed to have slept on the floor of the conference room or the couch at his plant on 22-hour workdays. On most other occasions though, he prefers to take the ride back home in his private jets. The Gulfstream G550 is the most recent addition to his fleet, which has a maximum speed of 0.88 Mach and a range of 12,501 kilometers. It seats 17 passengers but has been modified to a sleeping configuration. The other one, the G650, is larger and has more miles on it because it is his favorite mode of transportation from California to Texas. Not surprisingly, the CEO of an electric automobile company also has a few intriguing vehicles. Musk paid approximately $1 million for a rare 1976 Lotus Esprit sports car used in the James Bond film The Spy Who Loved Me at a Sotheby's auction in 2013. His collection also includes a 1920 Ford Model T and a Jaguar Series 1 1967 E-Type Roadster. The only two gasoline-powered vehicles he had, despite owning everything from a 1978 BMW 320i to a McLaren F1, a rare sports car Musk says he destroyed in 2000 after purchasing it for $1 million. Although he mostly drives the Tesla Model S, the billionaire has also been spotted driving Tesla's new Cybertruck around Southern California. So that's how the richest CEOs travel. Here's a video on the most luxurious castles in the world. 